Did you know you could use a Sharpie marker on the gel plate? It won't get ruined. Welcome back friends. If you haven't been here before, I am Susan Clifton. I am a South Florida artist and I specialize in mixed media. I love collage, jelly printing, and I want to revisit a video that I did last May, I think it was, on this fabulous Sharpie marker. It's um, a Magnum permanent marker. Works really well on the gel plate. So I'm going to do the first one in real time, and then we'll speed it up, put some music behind it, and then at the end, stay tuned to the end, because I have a special announcement. Let's get to it. Okay, so to start, now I'm not going to bother to clean this. I like a little grunge, so let's just leave it. But we're going to use this Sharpie. It's a Magnum permanent marker. I'll put the link below. And it's black. And it's a big, big chunky nib. Now the other size nibs would also work on the plate and of course we have our brayer and this is going to be my black this is going to be my contrast so i'm going to use other colors and we're going to probably use a lot of uh, quinacridone magenta yellows you know maybe some teal we're going to i'm going to go with my go-to colors today okay so the first one that i'm going to do i'm going to do in real time and I'm also going to use one of my new stencils. A nice pristine stencil. This is an 8.5 by 11 from edge to edge. So it fits beautifully on my 8 by 10 like that. But I could also use it this way. Um, I think this will be a nice layering with this. Along with, let me see, I've got to find a mask. Okay, I use these. These are supposed to be to store your gel plate. <laughs> but guess what? This is where I store all my masks that I, that I have created. So I'm just going to grab a couple that I think might be good. And this new big one. that I, I think that will be good for this particular. Uh, maybe I'll grab one of these too. Okay, so I'm going to do a single pull, so we're going to put our black down first, and I'm just going to randomly draw on here. we're going to let that dry. That might take, I don't know, maybe as much as four minutes to dry. I'll let you know. I'm going to start timing it now. Okay, so I was wrong. It only took about two minutes and it looks dry. Okay, so I just picked out some red, yellow, and blue. So this is quinacridone magenta, fancy yellow, opaque, even though it looks very transparent to me, um, and manganese blue hue. These three colors are quickly becoming my favorite on the plate. So let's just see what happens. Um, I'm going to first put down a yellow. And I'm going to go overall. And then maybe pick up through the stencil. And I think that was a little too much paint. Okay, that might that might do it. All right, so I'm going to put this stencil down. 
And I'm going to pick up with some jelly paper. Okay, so notice it also picked up the black, and that's fine. First of all, what great uh, deli paper, huh? So we're gonna we lost some of that black, but that's gonna add interest. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up. Now on the next layer, we're going to add some texture and two more colors. So we're gonna see how the yellow mixes or see, or looks with the transparency we're going to see how it looks with these two colors so i'm going to do like a half and half or maybe a two-thirds one-third um yeah we'll do two-thirds one-third so on this side i'm going to put the blue on this side i'm going to put the magenta ah. get this nice and clean before I go onto the blue. I'm going to mix a little bit right here in the middle. And now I'm going to use some texture plates. Oops, crooked. That's okay. I'm going to get a little one. I have these little blocks. This one has a square. This one has a spiral. So I'm going to do the spiral. Okay, and we're going to let this dry. And it shouldn't take too long. Let's take a look at what it looks like so far. Ooh. Okay, then we're going to find another color to pick this up with. I'll be right back. Okay, this also dried very quickly, probably because it's fluid paint. I'm going to pick this up with some Titan Buff. I'm going to pick this up with some rice paper. I usually do about three minutes. Sometimes I set a timer on my watch. This is like the, the advantage of having a uh, Apple Watch. Still feels a little bit cool. Hopefully we're going to get a good result. So leave a comment below if you like real time or if you like when I speed things up. This video will have a little bit of both. But I want, for those of you who are still unsure about timing, I want you to see in real time what I'm doing. Okay, we're not quite, I think we still have a minute. See, I would have pulled it already, just by the way it feels. But we're going to go the full three minutes and see. Oh, 
We still have a minute and 32 seconds. Three minutes is a lot longer than we think. I'm losing patience. Okay, so let's do two minutes. Because <laughs> I don't think three was really necessary on this one. And it wasn't. We got a fantastic, except for the grunge in the corners, we got everything else. A beautiful pull. A beautiful, colorful pull. And so do you see what happened when we pulled that deli paper? Let me grab that one. When we pulled that deli paper and it lifted some of the black, it added a little bit more interest to the print because it subtracted in those areas. So that's actually something to think about. Your first layer is always going to do that. When you lay a stencil on top of it, it's going to lift off some of that, whether it's paint or a marker, it's going to lift some of that but I think it makes it better in this case. And the texture added a lot, the stencil added a lot, and so did my little swirls. Oops. Anyway, two minutes. <laughs> That's all we needed. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a lot more and I'm gonna speed it up this time. But keep in mind that I'm gonna continue to do the two minutes.
So as you can see, sometimes I keep a smaller plate on hand to mix specific colors. Sometimes you want a lighter color than what is in the bottle, so or a yellower color or a greener color. So this, this gives you that option. And also, as you can see from this session, not all the prints were successful. I wish I could say every single one of my prints is beautiful every single time. In this particular session, I was trying to use colors together that I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have a bad day. Um, I think I was having a bad day. Although this particular print, I think I made a lot of good choices. So the first one is actually my favorite. Really love the way it came out. We got good pickup on this one. I don't know why I didn't get good pickup on a lot of them, but um, on this one, I got really good pickup. And I got a great deli paper. I love how, you know, the black gets picked up. 
So now we have these curves within the, within the circles. Okay, on this one, we have some subtle stuff going on in the background. I love what's going on inside the masks. And this is also a great deli paper. And on this one, I love, I love the teal colors, like obviously my favorite. I think this was quinacridone magenta. It went very dark. But if I think about it, if I like just step away from it in terms of, you know, my color palette, this is something different. I, I don't dislike it. And I also love this. I have an awful lot of yellow deli papers. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this yellow, but um, again, teal with orange. It is beautiful. I love how you see the teal through some of the brush strokes. That's fantastic. Love how this came up for the deli paper. I'm a little sad about this, but for collage paper, it's okay. So I really love this. I love how we we have this beautiful green in the middle that is a mix of the Hansa yellow and this manganese blue. I just, I love the texture in the background. Um, very happy with this and also very happy with this wonderful deli paper. I know, I know it seems like I like the deli papers more than I do the others. But um, I just think it's an added benefit. On this one, it's a very messy looking print to me. We did not get a clean pickup of the black, so that upsets me. But again, I got some, you know, I love these kinds of um, subtle, like little small things that I could overlay in collage. And this also could be very nice. And then look at this. Angles inside circles. Ovals. And this is beautiful. I love all the texture that's going on. We did lose some paint on the plate, but... And then this deli paper has texture. And that's because when I was making this, I was putting lots of texture in. And we got it here. Okay, so thank you for staying to the end. And also thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I have just reached 10,000 subscribers and I am very, very excited. So I want to give away some stencil sets. These are brand new ones that I, these two are masks. Here's a better look at them. The one on the left, the, the calligraphy style one is larger than the one in the other set that's on the right. And the one in the middle are the ovals that I use a lot in this video. So I'm gonna give these three away and all you have to do to be included in this is do the little emoji with the sunglasses and just comment with a little emoji and you'll be included. I'm going to get a friend of mine to randomly pick three people. So, you know, for us YouTubers, milestones are very, very important. So, you know, we, we really get excited when we reach goals. Uh, I guess that's true of everybody that makes a goal. We get really excited when we meet, when we meet that goal but I can't do that without you. So I really thank you again. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.